Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is my 2021 bullet journal setup. So for 2021 I decided to not use my usual light term and instead to use this undated journal. So the first thing I always do when I start a new journal is to use the back page as a paper test. This is super helpful if you want to know which biros, markers or highlighters will leak through the page and which ones don't. So my usual highlighters are the Stableo Pastel as well as Mild Liners. You'll see later the Stableo actually ended up being better for this type of paper, so that is what I used to highlight each spread. It's also helpful to have a place where you can see what the highlighter looks like on your page instead of testing it out on an actual spread and finding out you hate it. So as you can see, the Stableo pastels are hardly visible through the page, but the mild liners are. So because of this, I'm going to be using the Stableo pastels for the rest of my spreads. Next, I always add a small envelope to the back page of a journal. This is super helpful when it comes to storing small pieces of paper or sticky notes, as well as just ordinary notes that you don't want to use in your journal but want to make a note of somewhere. And finally, the last thing I always include at the back of a journal is a place for ideas for my next journal. This is really helpful when it comes to figuring out which spreads work for you and which don't, and it's handy to keep all of your ideas in the one place. Now it's on to the front two pages of my journal where I'm just quickly measuring out a size to cut out of this really pretty wrapping paper that I found, so I want to include it as the first two pages to write 2021 on it. So I'm just quickly measuring out on the wrapping paper what I took from the journal and then cutting it out and putting it underneath books to flatten it for a while. So here is the flattened pieces of wrapping paper. I'm just going to quickly glue this down and then later on add washi tape as extra protection to keep it in place. This is a really easy way of adding cute drawings or figures to your bullet journal without having to buy expensive coloured paper. I always find it helpful to just roughly sketch out what I want to write with marker first before going back in with a ruler and making it more exact. And finally just adding this cute quote to sum up how I want 2021 to be. On the other side of my 2021 spread, I like to include my goals of the year. I usually try to limit this to four or five different goals that I want to complete throughout 2021. And now it's on to my first official spread, which is a content or index page. You will see throughout this bullet journal that each of my titles are composed of this tall, skinny font as well as cursive. I think it adds a nice bit of difference to it as well as making the font seem interesting without having to do much work. So here is a quick place to write down to-do lists that you do every week, every two weeks, every month or every two months. It's handy to keep all of these in one place so you can just check it off as the year goes on. As well as that, I'm adding a highlight of the week page. I plan on using this journal for the month of January to July, so that is why I only have 30 weeks included. Next is on to my important details page. This is just a single page to jot down the most important things you need to remember, such as bank details, work, bills, health information or emergency contact numbers. 
I've also added this small few boxes down the bottom of the page to include passwords and usernames to log into important sites. After that I have a cleaning schedule which is super helpful to know what needs to be done and when. So I divided this page into three different sections. The side you see now is for the weekly to-do lists, then I have monthly to-do, and then every two months. As I said before, I only plan on using this journal until the month of July 2021, so there's not that many months included. It's also a really good idea to give yourself extra space for new tasks that might appear because there is nothing worse than needing to include something and not having the room to do so. So next up is just a quick release date page. These are the future release dates of books, music and movies that I can look forward to and to remember when they come out. After that is a monthly summary. This is a really cool idea I saw and wanted to try out for next year. It involves drawing three boxes for each of the months that you wish to do this for. One for books, one for movies and one for music. So when in each box at the end of the month you just sum up what was your favourite book, music or movie and just draw a quick sketch or write it out in each box. Next up is a media tracker. This is a place for me to list all the books and movies that I've seen or watched this year. So I've included quite a lot of pages for books because I tend to read a lot. And then I have one page at the end for movies or TV shows that I particularly enjoyed. After that I have a need versus want page. I am super guilty of doing this and buying things that I want over things that I need. So this is a good way to keep track of shopping lists. And I've also included an income tracker for different months to make sure that I'm not overspending and that I'm saving how much I want to save. Finally, in my 2021 spread, I have included a language tracker for each of the target languages that I want to focus on. I've just quickly jotted down the amount of checkpoints that are there in Duolingo for each language, and this is a handy way to keep track of your progress. And finally, I'm going back with each of my Stableo pastel highlighters to add some colour to each of these spreads. So that is it for my 2021 bullet journal spread. Here is a quick flick through to what the final spreads look like and there will also be the usual images at the end. This was super fun to do and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to show you. I hope your own 2021 spreads are just as successful and I'll see you in two weeks with a new video.